Hi there, this is Shroth from Art of Presentations and today we'll be talking about images for your PowerPoint presentation. That's right, I guess all of us know how important images can be for your presentations. Images can make your presentation look visually appealing. They can actually bring the right messaging, the right kind of emotions out on your presentation. But the question really is, how do you add images to your PowerPoint presentations? Well, there are actually multiple ways in which you can add images to your PowerPoint presentations. I'm gonna show you all these methods one by one in today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I already have a presentation open just to save us a little time. And I'm just gonna dive right in on how we can add an image in our presentation. Now the way we do that is um, we open the slide where we want to add the image, we click on it and we go to the insert tab. And the next thing that we want to do is look at this pictures option in the insert tab on the ribbon itself. Now, if you click on this, you'll actually find a bunch of different options, multiple options. Let's take a look at each of these options one by one. Now, the first option is the photo browser. Now, when you click on it, what it allows you to do is insert images from an application like Picasa or Google Photos, where if you, have, if you don't have the images stored on your computer, but you have it on one of these applications, you can easily click on this uh, photo browser option and directly import the images from the photo application that is installed on your computer. I don't unfortunately have Picasa installed on my computer. Well, I do, but I don't have any images unfortunately. But you get the drift. Once you open it, it's pretty straightforward. Just browse to the specific folder which actually contains the image. Click on the image, click on insert, and it'll be added to your presentation. Now the next method which you can actually insert your images is using picture from file. Now, it is exactly what the name sounds like. Basically, what this allows you to do is browse to a specific folder which contains the image on your computer. These are, this is an image which is saved on your computer instead of some application or on the cloud. And all you gotta do is just open up that specific folder like I've done over here, select the image that you wanna insert and simply click on insert and the image will get added onto your slide in your PowerPoint presentation. So that's the second method of adding an image to your PowerPoint presentation. A slight variation of what you could do over here if you don't want to just open up, uh, you know, if you don't want to click on insert and go to, you know, the option of picture from file, what you could also do is just simply open up the folder which contains the image and then select the image, drag and drop it onto your slide. And you can also insert the same image in this manner as well. Just open up the folder, drag and drop the image to your presentation and you will have the image on your slide just in a moment. Now, there are a couple of other options. Let me just open up a blank slide. Uh, there are a couple of other options you can use to insert images. Now, bear in mind, these options might not be available on all versions of PowerPoint. I'm actually using Office 365 and I'm using PowerPoint with it. So I get to have all the latest options or the latest features that are available in PowerPoint. But if you're using an older version, you probably won't see these options of stock images and online pictures. But for those of you who are using this version, let me explain what these mean, right? So stock images and online pictures, these are great options if you're using PowerPoint and if you wanna just insert an image from the web directly onto your PowerPoint presentation. The way it works is basically if you choose stock images, PowerPoint is actually gonna pull out images directly from stock image websites like Unsplash and several other resources uh, where it actually, where you can find these stock images. This is gonna open up directly into your PowerPoint presentation. So you don't have to actually browse to a separate folder, a separate website on your Chrome browser and download it and drag it onto your presentation. All you gotta do is just open up stock images uh, as an option and search for a type of stock image that you wanna add to your presentation. Let's just say I wanna search a, an image for a mountain. So I just type in mountain and I see a bunch of different options that I can include it in my presentation. Since we're going with a mountain theme, I'm just gonna choose one of the mountain image that I like. I like this, uh, let's just go with this one over here. It has trees and it also seemingly has a mountain. So just select the image and click on insert and you'll see that the image is directly added to your PowerPoint presentation. How cool is that, right? Now, uh, what you could also do is uh, insert, let me just insert a new blank slide over here. You could also go over the option of online pictures and this is a slight variation of what uh, you, know, you get as from stock images. 
what this allows you to do is actually choose image using a, a search engine like Bing over here. It's a Microsoft powered search engine, obviously. So you can actually have a variety of other images that you might not be able to find on stock image websites. So let's just go with the continue with the theme of mountain. So I'm just going to type in mountain and see what kind of options do we see and right off the bat i see that there are a few options that we didn't see on the stock image website and you can just like before choose an image that you really like i kind of like this one over here click on the image to select it and click on insert and as before powerpoint is actually going to insert this image directly into your powerpoint presentation again how cool is that saves you a ton of time doesn't it so these are some of the different ways in which you can insert an image into your PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to invite you to watch the next video since you've already learned how to insert an image, add an image in your PowerPoint presentation. Make sure you check out this other video which basically talks about how to crop, move and resize images in your PowerPoint presentation once you've inserted them. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and if you liked the content, please make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next video.